Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing a video on a bin. Now this bin will chuck out loads of stuff and you need to do basically nothing except put your trash in a chest. Okay, so this is really simple. The only stuff you need is redstone, repeaters, hoppers, chests, droppers, a button and of course lava. Now I'm going to explain how this works. If you don't want to hear about this, skip to the time on the screen and we will get on to how to make it. This is super simple. You just put whatever you want to throw out into the chest and it travels through hoppers down to the dropper and there's a redstone circuit at the bottom which rotates. Underneath the dispenser is lava, of course, and the stuff, as you can see, gets chucked into the lava every couple seconds. Right then, let's go away from that and make it somewhere else so I can show you how to make it. Dig a hole in the ground. It doesn't need to be very big. I just like making it big at the beginning. You just need to fill it in afterwards. And depending, of course, on how much space you have, make it as big as you can possibly do. Right, now you have your space. We are going to be placing our dispenser. So you should really go three blocks down because if you only do two, it's sideways. And it needs to go downwards so that the stuff falls into lava. Now before you climb out, make sure that you fill a hole with lava and then cover up the rest so that you don't die and up you come. Right, if you're wondering, the reason we're using droppers instead of dispensers is because dispensers use whatever it is for real. Like, if you put shears in there, they shear, keep shearing until it uses up, and that could take ages. However, a dropper just drops whatever it is out. Okay, now we are going to make a redstone loop. Make it as big as you can and leave a gap in the center. So once you have done that, you need to now place repeaters. Now you're going to be using three repeaters and make sure that they go round so that it doesn't block it. There are arrows and make sure that the arrow is going the right way so that the redstone signal doesn't get blocked. Right, so now you need to extend the redstone repeaters to four ticks, so like all the way out um, and make sure that it's like that, all of them. Right, after you've done that, you now need to connect a hopper to the dropper. Make sure you're crouching and then tap the, ho the dropper on the side and place a double chest on top of the hopper. Right, after you have done that, we are now going to be placing the button. If you're wondering why we're using a button, it's because you can tap it very fast and destroy it. What you need to do is you need to tap the button and destroy it straight away. When you see that these lights go round and round clicking like that, that means you have done it correctly and that there is nothing wrong with it. If it doesn't do that at once, then you just need to try again with the button, break a piece of redstone first and then do it again and it should work fine. Now you just need to cover it up and everything will be fine or you can leave it uncovered. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like for more and I will be back soon. Till then! Bye!